Hello everybody and welcome. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at a programmable macro keyboard. Standard numpad like this, about $10 and you're all good. If you've got an extra keyboard at home, you don't even have to bother buying something. You can just use that. Besides the numpad, there is also one with uh, these relegatable keys. Basically, that means there's a clear cap that goes over the regular caps. And that way you can print off your own pictures and stick them in there and get something that looks very nice. A little bit more expensive though. Next, we've got stuff like these stream decks or the Genovation boards. Now, these are very nice. They offer a lot of keys. The Steam Deck is super nice. It's got LCDs inside. You can just set them up digitally to look whatever you want. And they can change as you change your macro sets. Very, very nice. Now, the ultimate one would probably be something like the 3D Connects Space Mice. And these have the 3D mouse navigation tools as well as programmable keys with a screen. But as you can see, they are super expensive. And what I hear is the awesome problems with the software. So for now, I'm going to be sticking with the numpad. Now, software wise, you can either download the Lua macro keys or you can get auto hotkey. Which one you use is completely up to you. Personally, I'm going to be using the Lua macro. I'm going to start off by downloading that as well as downloading the HID macros. Now, this is the older version. It does not work on the newer windows, but we are still going to be using it for some things. Let's just close that and open up our downloads. Go and extract these two programs. And I can delete that. And I'm just going to make a new folder. Let's call this Lua Macro. And that's just so that I can stick all that stuff right in there and have it in a singular location. Next, I'm going to move this over to my Tecla folder so that I've got it somewhere handy. Right over there. When running the Lua Macros, you'll find that it is absolutely blank. It doesn't tell you anything. I've already made up my keyboard, which I'll have for download, but it's a fairly simple process. What you need to do, firstly, is figure out exactly what buttons you have to work with, as well as figure out your device's name. And this is will allow the program to identify that device and allow you to use that. That's where the HID macro comes in. So. What we have here is a program that sort of no longer works in the new versions of Windows. So I'm going to right click and say properties over to compatibility, turn on compatibility, run it in Windows 7. What you're going to do is start off by pressing the button that you wish to do. In this case, I'm going to press the minus on my numpad and it's going to say it's keyboard device 1 and the button is 109 creating a new Excel sheet. That button over there is 109. And of course, we said it was keyboard one, devices, keyboard one. Now, I don't want to type all of that out, get rid of everything over there, and just use this print devices. Once I've run that with the play button, It'll tell me these are my three keyboard devices. As you can see, HID macros also gives you the mice. So over here, I'm going to say, right, it was number one. Number one is over here. I'm just going to grab that key over there, copy that. Nope. I want to reopen up my macro and I'm just going to paste that in there. And that will be my keyboard. Now once this is set up you can just run it. For the setting up part it's fairly simple. We are going to go through our macros over here. We're going to press the next one is uh, the multiplication and that's 106. And we are going to go through just about everything over here and figure out what they all are. Now once you've figured out everything and you've got all your different numbers 
and you know exactly what they are you no longer need the HID macro and you can close it up now personally I'm gonna leave it right here inside my Lua macro folder because I would like to maybe access it later if I decide to set up a second numpad or maybe change to a full-size keyboard instead of a numpad or however I need the next thing is we are gonna jump on over to our Lua macros and over here we are gonna start off by saying we would like to set the name as Tecla Deck. this is our numpad next we want Tecla Deck function button direction if direction is 1 then return end so basically if I'm pressing the button do the command now the first button I'm going to be having over here is 13 so 13 equals send enter now uh, that is control I've got them written down over here in my Excel sheet that is control percentage marks alt plus is shift, hash is windows, and so forth. If you want a specific command, like delete, backspace, page up and down, you just have to put them in parentheses to work. Now, currently I've got my deck set up. I um, just created some icons to make it easier for myself to uh, see at a glance what they are, to make it nice and easy. We've got F on number 98 number 98 is over here and that means if I press the two key on my numpad it will give me a dimension and I've done this both on numpad on and off to give me the dimension either as a measuring tool while in the model or as an actual dimension while in the drawings I've also go gone and said I wanted a horizontal and a vertical dimension while numpad is off and currently I've got it set up numpad off is drawing numpad on is modeling and that just gives me double the amount of keys not really these keys are lost basically you can go around this is the buttons designation the name that we've written down over there and this is the command that you want to execute after setting all this up save this run and as you can see it now says Tecla deck is that and then unassigned keyboards are the standard keyboards I've already got again I don't want to mess with them at all at the moment there is another thing that is very very important and that is the fact that the program does not start itself when your windows start so the easy choice right there is to go to Windows Explorer doesn't matter where go to your address bar type in startup press enter and that chucks you into your startup menu from there create a shortcut now this will ensure that when you start up your computer all of these programs will be executed they will be run your macro keys are just one of them and of course once that's open you can just go and say open keys and run them if that is not your fancy I would suggest just create a shortcut on your desktop or somewhere easy to reach so you can easily start it whenever you need to. And now for the fun part. A quick demonstration of something you would encounter every day. Click a part, add the mark, add the weld mark as needed. Uh, maybe go and add a new dimension line and so forth so provided you set it up right it can really streamline your workflow but you'll have to see which commands you use the most add those to your shortcuts right up here and from there add them to your Lua macro. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.